Macna, we usually think fish and corals. Jellyfish though, but jellies in a nanotype tank that can be delivered to your door. I'm here with Joe from Jellyfish Art. How are you doing? Walk me through this thing, because there's sure. some things I hear about them that I gotta hear right from the source's mouth. Certainly. Okay. Uh, so we grow mean? and propagate all the jellyfish in-house. So, so these are captive bred, so to Yes, say. exactly. Um, so we have a, um, a few systems with polyps, um, which uh, basically there are um, jellyfish that grow inside of these polyps, kind of stacked together like pancakes. Mm -hmm. And through a process called strobulation, they, the polyps release these little baby jellyfish called the phyra. And they, um, we have spe specialized tanks for growing them up through those different life cycle stages. Okay, so you guys created this and you're per se creating the jellies. Correct. I'm guessing when I buy this, you're gonna ship me the jellies too. Exactly, so um, all of our aquariums come with uh, express shipping for the jellyfish, generally somewhere around three jellyfish per package. Okay. Um, and those are shipped express to your door after you redeem your coupon code. So okay. the way that we do it is uh, we send out the aquariums first with biological starter, with salts, everything that you would need to get everything kind of getting getting ready for starting your cycle. Okay. And then that code can be redeemed when your cycle is ready. Okay. So I know that it can vary in time. Sometimes it takes three weeks, sometimes it takes four weeks, uh, depending on different parameters and everything else like that. Um, so once the cycle is all set and ready to go, then you go and redeem that coupon code and we ship them out Monday through Friday uh, for express next day delivery. So I've got, I'm guessing like gallon and a half, three gallon, walk me through the size. This one's about two gallons, 2.2 I believe, and this one's five gallons. Okay, so I open up the box, it's got everything I need, I've got salt. Exactly. I provide my own water. We're correct, so it's all reverse osmosis water is what we recommend. Um, you can go and get uh, distilled from the store. Okay. Um, but generally having an RO system, just like any other saltwater aquarium around here would have, uh, is, is ideal. Uh, at the show we use the same water that everybody else did, except we generally uh, recommend adding a little bit more water to it, so we're having it around 1.023 solution. Okay, now you said there's starter in here, so we get the cycle going. Correct. What does maintenance look like once I've got the jellies in there? So the most important thing for the jellyfish is ensuring that there's a couple things that are within range. One is salinity lower than normal, and the second one is temperature. Um, they really don't do well over about 78 degrees. Okay. So as long as you're in an AC environment, I live in South Florida, we have our AC on all the time, so it's about 73 in our house right now would be my guess. Um, so as long as you have that kind of environment, it's perfect for them. But maintenance is generally um, like any other smaller aquarium, it's about nitrates in and nitrates out. So however much you're feeding to the aquarium, okay. depending on how many jellyfish you have. Let's say you had two of them, you'd be feeding less than having five jellyfish in a cylinder five. Okay. Um, so water changes are generally recommended somewhere around 25% every week and a half, two weeks, somewhere in that range. Okay. Um, you can feed a couple different things. Uh, we have a specially, specially formulated food that is very neutrally buoyant. So these jellyfish are um, basically suspended in the water column here with the way the flow works inside of these tanks, um, but they don't actively go and pick up food off the floor. Okay. So this food over time, uh, it's nutritious for the jellyfish, but it can settle down in the bottom of the tank. So part of the maintenance would be um, every couple days probably siphoning out a small amount of food off the bottom. Um, we have a specially designed airline siphon hose for that. Um, but one of the other items that you can feed with um, our Artemia hatcher over here, a small plastic dish that hatches out brine shrimp. Okay. Um, and then that's perfect for these guys, mainly due to the fact that they will stay neutrally buoyant for as long as possible so that the jellyfish can go ahead and grab onto them. And so I'm, one food is live, one food is like a pellet? Uh, yes, yeah, so the other one is more of a, um, a pelletized food that's small and micron and, and is very, very neutrally buoyant to okay. ensure that it stays floating as long as possible for the jellyfish to grab. So if I only feed the pellets for their life, that's okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine, okay. but what I was saying about the maintenance uh, between the two yeah. is that um, the, the live brine generally will all get eaten up Okay. Whereas the pelletized food can sink down to the bottom and you gotta siphon it up. So that would be something a little bit extra on the maintenance wise. Uh, but yeah, 25% water change every week and a half to two weeks. In the inside of the aquariums, they're actually run off of a bubble lift design. Okay. Uh, mainly due to the fact that these jellyfish require that flow at all times. Um, small water pumps are a little finicky sometimes and they can get stuck or they might not work too well. Uh, so we figured an air pump is something very easy. You can go out to any pet store and, and uh, if anything happens to your air pump, you can get a new air pump. Sure. Um, but there is a, um, a large pad in the back that we use for mechanical and biological filtration. Okay. Uh, we recommend whenever you do your water change, you take out you know, somewhere around 25% of the water. 
take that pad out, squeeze it out inside of the water that you just take, took out of the tank, and then put that back in. That's just to make sure that you don't have any particulate buildup inside of the pad. So if I'm siphoning out like the tritus that's on the bottom sure. of this, the jelly touches me, am I getting stung and jerking my hand no, out? No, actually. Generally out in the ocean, um, the Aurelia Rita uh, can develop a more potent sting due to the fact that they, they put their um, tentacles out there and they eat just about anything. Okay. Um, so from basically live culturing them in our, in our offices, we don't see that that sting translated what you might find if you're out in the ocean. Okay. Um, and we think it's due to the food. Uh, scientifically, I'm not quite sure as to why they don't sting as much, but I think it's more of a standardized diet of artemia and dried foods. Okay. So we set up water change every week and a half, 25%, pretty basic. Feed them, I can right. do live or I can do pellets. Correct. And of course, we got LED lights that we can do trippy stuff with. Oh yeah. Change things yeah, around. Yeah, you spin, you spin the circle on those ones. That's um, one of our, our newer light designs. Um, a lot of our customers will hook it up to a, a small Amazon timer so you can turn the lights on and off at night. Okay. Uh, but the aquariums do come with an extendable brush that, that works really great for inside of here to okay. help clean any algae off the inside. So what kind of life expectancy are we expecting out of those jellies? So we will see as a maximum somewhere around a year and a half to two years as wow. a maximum. Okay. Out in the ocean, these guys only live about eight months, uh, mainly due to the seasons changing, temperature and food availability sure. um, changing throughout the uh, the time. But with a standardized uh, food and standardized temperature, temperature, um, they're able to live a little bit longer than their normal lifespan. Okay, so this looks super simple. And get it in black and get it in white. Correct. We've got a mix of whatever's going to work best in your place. Right. I have a feeling my thing, my kids would think this is super cool. Oh yeah. I got to give these things a try. Dentists and doctors love them too. Just putting that out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Joe. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Thank you. <clears throat> you ready? Hey, I'm getting video. Hold on. I gotta go. You at the booth? <laughs> I missed the look. Hey, I'm getting video. The, the challenge is the filming with popular people. They just, All right, see ya. They're always, they're in the mix. I guess he's coming after lunch. After lunch. Sounds like you did, said, right? Said a uh, one hour meeting turned to three. You say, I hope you sold something if you're gonna talk to someone that long.